Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Oh, let's get the net. <laughs> ooh, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. And this is one fat trout. Look at that. That is sick. What's up, you guys? By the way, Merry Christmas to all. I hope that everybody's having a jolly start to the season. I've got this lure that I'm gonna add to our Christmas tree. Hopefully Christy won't notice, because uh, she put a lot of time into decorating our Christmas tree. What do y'all think? Oh yeah, I think that looks good. All right, you ready? Where are you at? Where are you at? Ready? In the kitchen. You ready to do Just this? Just getting some Fairlife chocolate milk. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's update everybody on what's been happening out there uh, for the trout bite because I think it's about time that we show you guys some of y'all's pictures you've been sending in for our one fish, two fish derby. Um, tons of people have been getting out, sending us pics. You guys have not disappointed. So Jeff and I are actually going to give you guys a quick rundown of these pics. Um, but also kind of go through some of our favorite lures. That's right, y'all. So before we reveal the update with the speckled trout fishing derby um, that we're doing, uh, Christy and I, we're gonna show you guys our top five favorite speckled trout lures. So hey, I see that. I see you added something to the tree. What'd you think I was? He added the biggest lure to the tree. You would think that he'd be like a little bit What's more discreet that? about it. Um, but the chug plug is actually one of my favorite striper lures, so it's pretty hilarious. Is that an early Christmas gift, babe? Maybe. Thank you. All right, y'all. Um, so before that, we uh, get to the update of the speckled trout fishing derby. Um, this, these are our top five favorite speckled trout fishing lures so yeah why don't you write them down our first favorite yeah so our first favorite uh if any of you guys watch our channel then you guys know come on what it is the popping cork the popping cork is definitely christy and i here at one fish two fish i would say that that is our favorite speckled trout fishing lure simply because i don't know it just works and we're really confident in it and we feel like that we can use it in a lot of different scenarios whether it is warmer weather or cooler weather and i don't know we just catch a lot of speckled trout this is me catching my personal best speckled trout oh. last year on oh. a popping cork oh. and oh. but yeah so this is me catching my uh personal best speckled trout last year on a popping cork uh so for the popping cork um i like to use two different ones uh this is like the cigar popping cork it's a little bit skinnier um, if I'm fishing in Florida, this is Cajun Thunder by the way, uh, if I'm fishing in Florida or a little bit clearer water and maybe even um, in a situation where I feel like some of the trout could be spooky, like if I'm fishing like super shallow, then I might use this um, just because it's a little bit less action, less noise going on than the bigger one. Um, so this is same brand, Cajun Thunder. We, Christy and I, we like to use this with about two feet of leader line, depending on the depth of where we're fishing. And um, I like to pair that up with a shrimp. Our second favorite lure to throw out there on the water is a little bit of top water action. Um, for these, this is the, ah, don't let it get you. For these, uh, this is the Rapala Skitter V10, and it's got a really sleek, kind of skinny profile on it. I really like the coloring and the sound that it makes. All right, and I'm gonna be comparing it to the Rapala x wrap which is looks just like a trout, the design on it, which is kind of cool. So you guys are gonna be wanting to work these across grass flats, and there's nothing like it watching a trout explode on a little bit of topwater action. Yeah, if a topwater, if Christy and I caught more fish on topwater, then it'd probably be our first most favorite, because who the heck in their right mind does not like catching fish? on top water yeah so you guys out there especially in the flats um you know texas a lot of the texas people they use top water all day long not just in the mornings and not just in the evenings so get out there throw a top water catch some big gator trout okay so our third favorite speckled trout lure has to be fishing a soft plastic Ooh, with some trout eye jiggets. yep berkeley gulp z-man 
uh, soft plastic to a trout eye jig head. So this um, trout eye jig head is super, super effective. And when it's paired up with, um, I would say Christy and I, we really like the Z-Man, this is the sexy penny color. So one thing that the jig head allows you to do um, is to work your bait kind of through all the different zones, like, you know, the top, like top water, the middle part of the water column, and then the lower part of the water column as well. You know, that really comes into play and handy if you're fishing in depths of water, you know, greater than like four or five feet. Number four, mirror lure. All right, you guys, so this is a suspended twitch bait. So when you guys are fishing this, this is honestly probably one of the easiest things for new people to fish with. Um, you guys can just do really slow twitches and you're really just kind of working it through that middle water column and just getting it in front of the fish. So this is the like original mirror lure, you know, smaller profile. Uh, so sometimes if you're not getting as much strikes on the double XL mirrodine, then you can downsize or vice versa. If you're getting tons of strikes on this one, the smaller one, then you can upsize to that one to catch the bigger trout. Mm -hmm. Okay, so coming in at number five is what I like, these paddle tails. This is a Z-Man scented paddler Z, and I don't have that many left because I've been fishing these guys a lot. But the action on these is just awesome. Let me hit a zoom. Um, I fish this just straight to a jig head. You can also fish it with a popping cork, but I just absolutely love the color. You can also fish it weedless, um, so it you know, can get worked through grass flats or oyster bars, and um, this paddle tail is awesome. I pair this up with the Shrimp Procure, and uh, so I would definitely put this Paddler Z, and I love this color, into our top five. So there you have it, people. That's our top five favorite speckled trout fishing. They make good Christmas gifts, y'all. All right, y'all, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you guys an update on our speckled trout fishing derby. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of awesome entries, and what I'm gonna do is run through some of our favorite photos that we've received, and I'm gonna show them up here on the screen as we're talking about them. So we have our most recent one that was sent in this afternoon from Michael Gordon. 19 and a half inches. Michael Gordon. Right here. Shout out to Mike. He's got the fishing gloves on. Too legit and, uh, and the shaka. That's right. Looks like he's actually cool. got a paddle tail that he's rocking out too. Yeah, that's a sick paddle tail. Yep. But a uh, chartreuse tail. That was sent in today. Don't know where you're at, uh, where you caught that, what state you're in. Um, this was sent uh, yesterday. He's a local. And he's actually a local YouTuber. Shout out to Dewey Cash in the Virginia Beach area. And not the biggest one. This is a 15 incher, but an awesome You've got picture. a sick that beard, man. I wanted to. That is too legit. He looks like he's part of ZZ Top. <laughs> That's right. So you Dewey. Look like ZZ and Top. Dewey's actually, he's an awesome guy. If you guys ever are in Virginia Beach and you see him out and you're out on Rudy Inlet, <laughs> he has a nice beard. You'll see Dewey out fishing with his kids <laughs> yeah. and just an all around great guy. So shout out to Dewey. Next one is coming out of Brunswick, Georgia. And this is a 19 incher from Jason Scott right here. Yeah, but look at this box right Dang. here. Dang. All right. Yeah, you, you did some damage on those trout. By yeah, the way, what were work. you using to catch these trout? Because those are some nice keepers. Yeah, so this is Jason Woo! Scott. Um, throwing the shaka there. Yeah. Um, and we've got him bringing in 19 inches as his biggest one. Except Georgia, you guys have warmer weather. I'm really jealous right now. It's probably like in the 70s by you guys. We need to head down to Georgia. All right, y'all. So the next one is Michael Ketchman. 20 I think that's trap. his last, last name. And he actually caught this when we were in South Carolina filming our Beaufort video. And he is, where are you at? Polly's Island, South Carolina, bringing in a 20 inch fatty. Wow. That is, that a, is fatty. a fat. It's a girthy looking That trout. is, absolutely. So, Michael Ketchman, pretty work right there, 20 incher. Y'all are making and a lot of fish tacos this week. Christy and sure. I really want to come and fish Polly's Island, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a really cool spot. All right, another one coming out of South Carolina is from Cliff Nagel. 
and he's bringing in a 23 inch you guys we're getting up there a little bit bigger size and this is still a that pretty is a stud this is a girthy looking trout although he did not have the shaka in his photo so oh he said it he said guess i was so excited i forgot the shaka uh-huh um so a lot of uh submissions from south carolina but mr steve bratz or I think that's his name, or Brats. Brates. Brates. Steve, I will say Steve Bratz. <laughs> coming out of Rudy Inlet. Ooh, our own turf, our home backyard. Wow. In our backyard. So you guys in Texas and Louisiana, and you guys who have all those big gator How big trout. Is this, one? this is a 24 inch speckled trout. Jeez. Steve, you are in the lead right now, brother. Dude, you've got the whole inches. night. Yep. Headlamp piece on and everything. So that's Steve. Awesome. So Steve sent us this picture a few weeks ago, and this is a stud. Mm -hmm. He's as you can see, he's got everything. He's got the shaka, uh, and he's got it right up against the measuring tape, and that is a big old speckled trout. So 24 yep. inches coming right out of Rudy and Let. Steve, you're in the lead. Great work, and. Um, Let's see, what else do we have? By the way, if you guys want to get in this uh, derby, it's not too late. You guys still have almost a full month ahead, so who cares how cold it is, if it's snowing. All right, so I have to show and brag on our buddy, uh, Captain Aaron Beatson, because he took uh, this guy out, and he's with Kobe Killer, by the way. This guy, I don't even know how big this was. How many, how many mm -hmm. inches is that, Trevor? I don't know. It's hard to tell when someone's holding the fish out. Cause it does look a bigger, but that is a stud. Can you, can it's you okay. See that? We'll put it in okay. the video. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to tell when someone's holding the fish out, but that's definitely a stud. That, yeah. that looks like it could go for 24 plus, How? but this, it wasn't up against the measure. This has tape. to weigh like six pounds. Yeah. So this honorable mention. Another shout out right here, superlative to our buddy, Boston Underwood, who actually saw a video that I was doing where I, you know, buy Christy, my wife, flowers, because I like to buy Christy flowers. So Boston, <laughs> he actually sent a picture. He went above and beyond. He, <laughs> he sent a picture sent a of picture. his trout that he caught, which, uh -huh. you know, decent little trout, probably like a 13, 14 inch. Hey, is that our new? And he's actually he, using the pole that he won, right? Yeah. At, um, so Boston is using the pole that he won in the- The um, one fish, two fish bash. That's right. That's awesome. But he, Hopefully you know, you're like in, in big time room. shout out because oh, he's got his wife some flowers. So yeah, he sent he us that picture. He bought her pink roses, y'all, because he heard that Jeff buys me flowers, which is really sweet. All right, y'all. So one of the one of the last ones we want to feature, this is Albert Moe from Texas. I want to see more love from our Texas peeps. I want to, I think that y'all can do better. I'm challenging people in Texas because right now Virginia Beach is in the lead. Yeah, South you guys Carolina have the has been represented hand. too. And so, but we do have some representation nice. from Texas. This is Albert, and that is a stud of a trout right Spitting there. Getting on it. What did that? He, I don't even think he went to measure it because he said he's going to be sending some back. Uh, of hopefully he'll be upgrading. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the Christmas tree <laughs> with more of these lures. Get out and, of here. And uh, y'all get out there and catch the way, some big old ladies, speckled trout. how many of your husbands try and sneak lures in the Christmas tree? Because Probably not that many. Every morning I wake up and I try and sneak them out of the Christmas tree. <laughs> Um, all right, you guys, like Jeff said, that was our top five lures. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a comment below. And um, yeah, That's cannot right. wait to see. Keep some those more picks coming. Picks. All right, y'all. Peace out. See y'all later.